So in this space here, you're going to explain what concordant is. We've placed our text box so that it's lined up with the half inch guide here, which also lines up with our title nicely, giving you a little bit of alignment. But let's talk about our text down here. We want to do a few things, change to the move tool, and then click on paragraph. We want to talk about the options that are in here. First, at the top, you have the alignment of the text. Right now, our text is left aligned, and I'm sure that you've seen center and right aligned before in other programs. Probably you've also seen justified. This makes it so that the text goes all the way to the edge of the text box. It just stretches it. But there's also a center justified and a right justified and a complete justified across. We do not want that because that looks pretty strange. Let's do the justify with the last line aligned to the left. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to indent our text. This one would allow us to indent all of the text. We don't want to do that. I would like to indent the first line um, about 30 points. You can click the up arrow or you can type 30 and pressing tab will complete that action. These ones give you space before and after the paragraph. We don't need to do that. But I would like to not hyphenate our text down here. Um, I just don't really prefer to have my text all stretched out like this, so I'm going to dehyphenate it. And then that is what our text looks like. Let's talk about the difference between points and inches. I could put inches in here if I wanted to, if I wanted to make sure that it was, oh, let's say a half inch, then I would type 5in and tab. And that would make it exactly a half inch. That happens to be 36 points. Points are just a measurement system, the same way that inches are. But we understand inches a little bit better than points. So I usually tell you to change the rulers and the things that we use to inches. Go ahead and leave that at 30. And the last part of your setup on this page is to copy all of this to the following pages. We're going to treat this kind of like a magazine. So with a magazine, you have lots of repeating elements. There's our repetition. The title should be the same. The elements on there, like this line across, we want that to be on every, every page. The page number should be on every page. The placement of our text, we want all of those things to stay consistent, right? Repetition and consistent are the same thing. So let's move to our artboards and we can click and drag this down to our new artboard and it makes a copy and we can do it twice. So we have three pages with the exact same thing on them and you can go ahead and change these if you want to so that they are correct when you get to those pages. Go ahead and set up your artboards as described and I'll see you in the next video.